Welcome, I'm Angela Cox with Midwest Speakers Bureau, and we have been doing a series of interviews so that you can get to know some of the speakers in our upcoming speaker showcase on Tuesday, August 25th. So with me today is generational expert, Steve Bench. Hello, Steve. Hey there, thanks for having me. Great. Well, first off, can you share with our listeners some of the areas that you cover in your generational talk? Sure, so uh, I talk about the generational differences between us, whether that's at home or at work, and I kind of talk about the generations over time. So I'm a proud millennial, and I tell my millennial story and the life experience that I had growing up here in the Midwest, but I'll also talk about each generation over time because I feel like in order to understand each generation, we need to understand where we came from, who raised us and who kind of inspired us and what was their life experience. So we'll talk about each generation over time and I definitely put a fair dose of the millennial story in there as well because that's kind of what I lived through and it's what I know best. Okay, so when you're working with clients on managing the different generations, what is one of the most common questions that you get asked? I think one of the most common questions that I get asked is how are millennials really different from the rest of us? And, and now the younger gener youngest generation is Gen Z. So I'll get asked, how is Gen Z different? And, and people will wonder too, you know, is it just an age thing? So were the boomers the same as millennials when they were that age, right? When they were in their 20s or in their 30s. And it's one of the funnest questions that I have because I think part of it is yes. All of us at that age had that young mindset where you're maybe a little bit naive, but you're very passionate about what you believe in. But I think it also has to do with the times that we lived in. So the boomers were raised in a much different time and the Gen Xers were raised in a much different time than the millennials who grew up with supportive parents and supportive teachers and coaches every step of the way that me as a millennial, I, I might enter the workplace very used to my authority figures being hands-on and approachable and able to ask them anything that they want. But that might not be the same life experience that the other generations had. So kind of how we live through our different experiences has definitely made us who we are. Okay, great. Um, so when you're on site presenting a keynote, how do you engage your audience? Well, that's one of the things that I've missed the most. I've been doing some virtual stuff, but there's nothing better than that engaging them in person. Um, and I like to have fun. I, I mentioned I'm a proud millennial. I like to make fun of my generation. We have fun. We laugh. We kind of laugh about some of the things that frustrate us. And there's just something about being in person there, sharing those experiences with people, mm -hmm. getting to meet people afterwards from all the different generations who can relate to some of the things that are in my keynote presentation. There's nothing better than that. And that's, that's absolutely what I look forward to the most. Okay, great. And when attendees leave your session, what is the one thing that you want them to feel when they walk out the door? That's a great question. And I always include this at the beginning and the end is that I'm going to make laugh. I'm going to make you think about some of these issues, whether it's with your kids or with the people you work with, your, your coworkers or your employees. But what I really try to make sure to do is I leave you with the now what? we know that we're different. We know that maybe the millennials or the Gen Z kids at work kind of frustrate us or push our buttons. And we might have trouble with our teenage kids at home. We know we're different, but how do we improve those relationships? What can we do today and in the future to kind of improve the way that we get along at home and at work? So I kind of leave everyone with, here's what I've learned from Seattle to Brooklyn and everywhere in between in my travels. Here's kind of my keys to success for inspiring the people you work with and, and kind of connecting with those people you love at home as well. Okay. Well, speaking of those people you love at home, my teenage boys keep showing me TikTok videos thinking they're so funny. When I show them Facebook videos thinking I'm funny, you know, showing them and they don't get mine and I don't get theirs. So maybe after your talk, I'll, I'll maybe have a better appreciation for their funny TikTok videos. So the, the best compliment I got was the last speech I did back in, it was in March, but I got an email from a mother who said, I went home from your session and I just gave my daughter a hug and we talked and we cried. And she said, we, we hadn't been getting along the best. And she said, you really helped me kind of understand where she was coming from. And, mm -hmm. and she said, he said, I don't know who this Steve Bench guy is, but I feel like I want to thank him because oh, my mom okay. understands me a little bit better now. Mm -hmm. And that was just the nicest thing I think I've ever heard. So, okay. Well, maybe I'll just have to forward those TikTok videos to you and you can explain them to me and there you I'll go. laugh there you go. my kids. That's 
That's right. Yep. Well, thank you, Steve. We've enjoyed having you um, on the you, interview Steve. with us today, and we look forward to hearing more of your presentation on Tuesday, August 25th at our showcase. And as many of you know, it is on site, but we will be uh, streaming it live. So if you would like to join us, please go to our website at speakernow.com. Thank you.